Hello guys, it's Afro, and let's talk about the new limited event. Like when you when you when you see it, it's pretty much like this chick, and then she gets to upgrade, and you get to upgrade her. So she gets to upgrade too, and I hate the skin. Personally, I hate the skin, but this skill, True Skin, is pretty powerful. After battle, inflicts damage equal to 150% of goddess attack. Deals additional damage equal to 10% of target's max HP to all enemies at the same time. Applies rapid reinforce to three, two heroes with the highest attack. That's really good. Um, gains 20% speed bonus for five rounds. Cannot be stacked. Cannot be purged. And then the second level deal one of fifty damage equal to ten percent attack to all enemies. And it applies rapid reinforce up to two attacking heroes. That's five. That's really good. So let's show you the preview real quick of what we're talking about here. The skin to me is kind of garbage. I hate the skin. I think the cat's eye skin is better, but just to show you how powerful it is. I think the, the skill upgrade is good. I just hate the skin. My personal opinion. I'm just sharing it. But the skill itself is really good. It's much like um, Curse of Best. Curse of Best is, I think is super good as well. Um, it has resurrection on it. So I, I, in my personal opinion, I think it's better. Because it has resurrection. But in a more offense-based team, I can see how infallible troops would be more valuable. Because if you rush the opponent, you really don't need to revive. Because either you kill them or you force them to activate their super twins. And that's always a good position to be in. So in my opinion, I feel that uh, Sun Goddess is best. But me, being a dippy that I am, I haven't um, activated any of them yet. So how much do these things cost Air for? How much money do you have to spend? You're going to have to spend a lot in order to get her uh, uh, second skin. Kind of what kind of detracts me from it. Um, when you go to Divine Splendor Exchange, you need 100 of these to get the um, skin and get the activation of the skill. So you need 100. So that's, uh, that's 1,200. So let's obtain more. Let's see how you get... 1,200 so you basically need a hundred bucks to get the skin I'm not gonna spend a hundred bucks for that I'm sorry I'm not I'm not gonna spend a hundred bucks for that um, there's some stuff in here that I think is sort of legit um, yeah this is so expensive um, that's a hundred bucks too it's so expensive that's this a lot of this stuff is too expensive. I didn't. I just wish they would lower the cost. I mean, look at that, man. That's that's a hundred bucks. I don't know if, where you have a hundred bucks lying around. I don't. The regular exchange, I think, is pretty good. Of course, I think this is very valuable. The random divine soul is super valuable, and the uh, fate selection stones are super valuable. This is also super valuable. And so is Soul Seal. Soul Seal is super valuable. This is super valuable. This is super valuable. Of course, these are always good to have. Um, this is not so valuable anymore. As you progress in the game, this becomes less valuable. I think this is valuable for me as I'm trying to build units. Of course, this is super valuable. Potential Reset Stone is super valuable. Um, this is too, but if you don't get it, it's not the end of the world. As far as I'm concerned. Um, because this is more valuable. And you have a limited amount of resources to get these anyway. They're not infinite. So I think this is super valuable. This is. This is. This is. This is. And this is. And the gold is super valuable as well. Um, and probably this. But if you don't get this. This isn't in the world. And this isn't the end of the world either. This is a definite right here. And these are definites right here. So 
that's that. As far as the value cell goes, um, like I said, tomes are more important, so I wouldn't like spend resources there. I I got the heroic spirits and the potential upgrades. I'm probably gonna need to do this because I'm getting to that level where I need to start collecting that. Uh, this is like no more. I'm at the level where I don't need that. Uh, this is important if you're interested in that. I think this is more valuable. The 5,000 that I had for the Cosmo Talisman was super valuable. I wish I got it. Sartan's Essence is good. This is super valuable. This becomes more valuable the higher your level is. And Key of Fate. Um, okay, unlock hero skills and hero bond abilities. Yeah, that's super good too. Um, this is too expensive. Um, and the fact that you only get 10 frags, uh, yeah, not worth it. Um, fake selection, if you have the resources, it's okay. Uh, potential fragment is good. The heroic experience is, was good for me. I, 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 I say avoid that. Um, this is pretty good because it gives you 40. But, I, but for 800 diamonds, I say avoid it as well. This is good if you're at that level. If you're not, then it's not. Um, potential is good. This is good as well. But like I said, I'm low on diamonds. So I can understand why people want to get that because it's pretty good. But Cat Guardian, Cat Guard Guardian Charge, I should have been got that. That's fine. I'm slowly getting there. But I need tones. Tones are more important. That's the fastest way I'm going to increase power. Anybody for that matter, to be honest. But anyways, guys, if you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Uh, this is this is one of the best ones they had, uh, November 4th and November 10th. I think it's a good time to start saving up diamonds. But anyways, let me know if you're going to purchase this or you're going to be invested in this. Just let me know in the comments. Have a great one and good day.